Welcome everyone to, today, to today's Wild Wednesday webinar, sponsored by Apothecary Products and brought to you by MIPA and all of the District 3 uh, regional associations. Today we're delighted to have Gemline presenting Creating Custom uh, with Cecilia Ciccone and Sandy Soroka Parks. Uh, this webinar is worth one CAS point. If you'd like to get credit, you need to send me <coughs> your PIN number, uh, your educational PIN number, and you can just send that to paul at mipa.org, and I will send that on to PPAI so you can get credit for it. There is a chat box on the left side of your screen. At any time during the presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, just jot a note and send it on over, and we'll be happy to uh, answer those questions. And without any further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Cecilia Ciccone and Sandy Soraka parks with Gemline. Go ahead. Yes, thank you, Paul. Uh, this is Cecilia. I am the regional sales manager for Gemline. I cover Ohio, Michigan, Kentucky, and Western PA. I know we may have a few folks from outside that region, but I um, really look forward to showing you guys this today. Um, Global Solutions is actually a very big part of Gemline's business. Um, it's around a third of our business. and my customers who really show global solutions, they really can stick out and stand out from the rest as we have here. Um, and they stand out for a few different reasons, and we'll discuss, kind of get into those in more detail. But you really, um, it helps you when you're not able to trade the cost customers about creating these uh, custom opportunities. I'm getting a little bit of interference on my end. Paul, are you guys getting that? Have um, somebody who needs to maybe put their phone on mute or okay. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what. Better right now. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Okay, so this is really oh, kind yeah. of what sets you apart from everyone else. I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know if I should mute or not. This is Howard. Yes. Yeah, if you guys can remain on uh, mute for now, just I'm have for mute so we don't have any interference. I think we're just getting someone's interference there on their cell phone. So all attendees okay, so, are muted. Okay, so this is kind of what um, helps you stick out from your competition. You know, you guys having other distributors you're com competing with um, locally, and um, we're going to show you some ways that you can stand out here. Okay, so what is Global Solutions? Global Solutions is when we make an item overseas and we ship it directly to your customer. Um, we can have up to you know, as many locations as you like. Um, you know, we are able to decorate these um, items in many different ways. So while you order a catalog item with Gemline, um, from us in, in Lawrence, um, Boston area, um, you can only decorate in a few different locations. Okay? But by doing an item with our Global Solutions team, we decorate the item and then we then sew it together. So it allows for many different um, options decorating inside the bag, on the inside, outside, on you know, sides that you, places you can never imagine. On the handle, it allows us to have a lot more decoration options. So it allows you to get very creative. You also are going to have a lower um, price point too. So while we normally, um, you know, you may get you know, a little bit of price off the catalog price if you're doing a larger item, you're going to save 20 to 30 percent off of our catalog and column pricing when you do these overseas orders. Now I'm going to um, hand it over to Sandy. I'll be back here in a little bit and let her talk a little bit. She's um, our Global Solutions Manager, one of our Global solution Managers. Hi everybody. I'm actually um, Sandy and I'm in uh, Lawrence, Massachusetts, which is where Gemline's headquarters is. And um, further to what Cecilia was talking about, really um, to help you differentiate yourself from other distributors, you know, we feel really strongly about setting yourself um, away from the pack. And to do that, what we offer is really um, 
we really feel strongly about being on trend. Uh, Gemline's tagline is actually on trend, on time, and on budget. Being up on fashion trends is something we take very seriously. Uh, we invest a lot of money in travel and trend shopping and, and really seeing what's happening in the world that's out there to design products that really inspire and really you know, help people, you know, uh, see something if, that they might see in retail that they want to give away and really helps people want to keep maybe that product that they're taking home from a trade show or whatever type of event it is. Um, we have design professionals here in Massachusetts. We have industrial designers that work with us to develop the solutions for your project. Uh, we make sure it's a one-of-a-kind project, um, really tapping into their expertise and knowledge. You know, if you think about it, we come out with a catalog or a launch four times a year. So we are constantly, constantly trying to find out A, what the trends are, and we're constantly designing new items and new products. So tapping into that resource is really critical to setting yourself apart. And then, of course, compliance management. Um, being compliant is something Gemline is, uh, takes very seriously. We have been uh, working with a compliance team, we have actually two full-time experts that work on compliance, and that is their full-time job. We have one in Massachusetts and one in China, but it allows us to meet any of your clients' um, compliance needs or standards, and we work with some of the highest regard in that in that area, um, brands like Johnson & Johnson, Adidas, uh, Target, Walmart, people who have compliance manuals that really, that really are thicker than phone books, trust me. But now with the computer, they're just pages and pages long, but we can really build the product to their compliance requests. Deliverables, when we work with you on a project, um, here are just some examples of what we would provide. Virtuals, I think everybody knows what um, virtuals are. We can do them you know, as individual items or as a collection. Black and white rendered sketch, um, showing you just maybe a rough sketch that's in a black and white form. Or even coloring them up, adding color to add the dimension to show what it looks like, what it's going to look like in more of a 3D form, and photo shop images. We um, can actually do construction samples. We have a sample shop in China. Um, we have materials and trims, which we're going to show you a little bit later on in the presentation, but we can turn samples in roughly 7 to 10 days or so um, made with available fabrics. And then we can just do um, you know, uh, rendered images or customization ideas. You'll see some, um, some of these virtuals are going to have custom zipper pulls or custom linings, custom trims. All of that is very important to show, what, to show your customer how we can customize that bag and show them in, a, in paper form at least to get the, the ball rolling. To get What we like to do is really start the communication flow by presenting these ideas as a first step. So Cecilia, you're going to talk about more about this slide here. Yes, thank you, Sandy. So um, there's a few different options that we can do here. We can take um, an existing item that's from our catalog, and uh, we can order it exactly as is. We have some customers who do that and make no changes to it whatsoever. Or we can make a slight modification. It could be a color change. It can be adding a pocket. Um, or it can be you know, very extreme. You know, We can do something more that's going to be more of a complete custom product. So if it's not, not making drastic changes, it's going to be around $6,000 net. Um, you know, and we're also going to need to meet a minimum order quantity. The guideline for you on that is going to be around 1,000 pieces. Sometimes it may be more, but that's a good guideline for you to give um, and kind of quote to think of you know, the possibility to even quote it overseas. And then the custom yeah, product um, is going to be more in the $10,000 net too. Of course, lead time always comes into play. I always think that you should be talking about this um, six months in, ahead, in advance. Always be, always be thinking about it for those customers that may have the possibility of doing that. Uh, you know, it's kind of like you know, if you're thinking you know, summertime, you should be thinking about holiday projects. It's never too early to really start be thinking about those. So but on average, we do need about nine, 75 to 90 days from your proof approval. So you've got to add in another. 30 to 60 days, depending on how long your customer really does take to make these type of decisions. 
Um, we can do um, any type of cut and sew type bag or item that you know you see kind of in our catalog as a guideline for you. We can go slightly off, you know, what's something in our catalog, but you know, we're going to kind of keep to our core of who Gemline really is. And we do a lot of different business accessories, meaning an e-pad folio. Um, it, you know, pad folios in general. Maybe you wanted to make it a special PMS color. These, this gives us a lot more options to do these type of things overseas. That in the catalog, you mainly see limited um, color options for you. We also do um, items in our gift sets. Okay, that um, maybe like a barbecue set. Um, it could be, um, you know, a nice item like an apron or something different, fun, different items. And we have um, also the opportunities with some of our different brands too, okay, that we can quote for you overseas or we can make it similar to a brand type item. So a few options there. Okay, so now we're going to get into some different options and show you what we've kind of done in the past. Gosh, there's so many different examples we could show. Sandy and I kind of struggled. What could we show to them that, you know, really kind of wow you? Well, there's so many here. One item that's really popular in our catalog, though, is called our Latitudes um, bag, and it's going to be in the tote section. So that's a really nice item that normally on the left-hand side that you'll see that item folds up kind of into that little um, gray or silver uh, triangular shape there for you. Um, it's going to be then folding on the right-hand side. We had we made this for Sensi, um, which um, has in-home parties, and they wanted it to fold into a really uh, different shape, so it goes into more of that star shape for you. We've done it in all different kinds of shapes, you know, within reason. Um, but that's one kind of, kind of neat piece that we just took a stock piece and we made it personalized for them, the colors and the patterns on it. I mentioned the apron kind of earlier. Um, in our catalog, we have this apron. Um, we have a couple different options. We have one that has a speaker even in it. But then we took this item and we made this for Monday Night Football. Okay, so we. Um, personalized the box. We made their own packaging for them. The green color is not a color that we um, have in, as a stock item, in the, so we changed it to their PMS color. And then we even decorated the, um, the, the oven mitts for you, or the grilling mitts, and um, made some other personal changes for them. It's, it can be slight or modified, you know, really drastic changes for you. It's up to you and your customer or how you want to personalize it. Another stock item that we revised here, um, this is going to be our just a grocery shopper or recycled shopper. And what I think really makes this piece very different is that it's a piece that the artwork is just really fabulous on this piece. It um, is really bright and colorful. And this shows you very much how we can decorate in many different colors and ways that we couldn't do if we were doing this item domestically. So with a domestic item, you probably have it centered, you know, Mostly in the center of the bag is, is the decoration option. With this, look how colorful the vitamin water bag is and the Dasani here with all these colors on the sides, on the whole bag, you know, it really flows throughout the entire bag for you. The next piece here, some of you may have seen this. We've um, gave this out within the past couple of years here. This is a bag that we, um, more of a ladies type piece here. We took some uh, inspiration from retail for you. We um, put the little tassel that hangs from the, the handle there for you, the handle and, th and the bottom of the bag, the gusset of the, of the bag, and then also the, uh, the, in the down the sides of it there go the patent look the satin that we see out there in a lot of retail items. Okay, So this is really a, a bag that the ladies have loved, loved. It's really been popular. Um, and then in the inside of it, we put in what we call a step and repeat pattern or a lining there for you. And you, it's maybe kind of hard to tell there in the image, but this does say global, Gemline Global Solutions in it. And so this is something that customers really love. Um, you can, it really sets you apart by having their logo throughout that bag. You know, it can be the inside lining makes it very nice because it's not in their face, you know. It's, it's kind of, you know, out there. It's there, but it's not where you see it all the time either. So it's really a way that we personalize it for them with that step and repeat pattern. The next example here, uh, kind of similar to the previous one in some ways, we personalized a hang tag again for it. So the previous one had that tassel on it. Uh, this one has the Macy's star, the M1 we've um, been seeing with Macy's recently. And then the pattern on it kind of has like a, a crocodile type pattern on it. So it's um, very um, different than an item in the line. But we really, this one's very custom. We don't have an item, you know, really like that in the line. The material's very different. 
but we can do any type of cut and sew type bag for you. The next example here is with um, an amenity kit. If you don't know Gemline for our amenity kits and our catalog items, we do have a great selection of amenity kits. And it's really set us apart. And then um, this is a stock piece or a custom piece that we made the modifications from a stock piece. And um, this has been um, very popular because of the packaging too. So they um, they really had it set it apart with having that package that so made really a nice gift item too. And then um, the next piece here is um, you guys most most regions do have caribou coffee. Um, we did a few different pieces for them. So we did a collection for them. This collection included the messenger bag, um, really a nice canvas messenger bag for them. Uh, it had um, you know, some, some nice hardware on it. You can see on the handle there, uh, custom stitching um, on the front there with the blue. And then um, we did the um, blanket. The blanket is um, a really a great item in our line, too. It's um, our performance tote blanket that we really personalized by putting the caribou coffee um, in the interior of this blanket. Okay, so that's uh, very popular. We've done a lot of different blankets that have theft and repeat patterns on them too. And then the bottom right hand corner is our tote bag. Uh, this tote is very similar to the Tempo collapsible tote bag that's in our line. We came out with, I believe, last year sometime. And it comes in a few different um, colors, green, blue, and um, black. And then we made it completely um, um, custom by having the white pattern. I believe the fabric too was made more into a cloth fabric for this one, whereas in the line it's um, more of a polyester. So that piece was um, really popular with this client too. Now I'm going to hand Thank it back you, over Julia. to Sandy. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Um, I want to take you through sort of a, a, the process that we go through um, when we work on a custom project. And the next set of slides is going to be kind of an example of that. Um, a lot of people, and we do a lot of business, taking our stock items and just importing them or just taking a stock item and modifying them. Um, that's really the, the sort of the easiest, um, most simple way to um, get familiar with doing overseas orders. And um, we have such a you know, array of product to choose from that that makes it very easy for customers. But, but this is going to go into really showing you our custom capabilities and some of our custom design process. And what you'll see in this slide here is one of our industrial designers. You can see him working on his CAD, um, doing the designing here in Lawrence. And then the, the image next to him is working in our China office. Um, working directly with our China team and our sample makers and our pattern makers is really critical in getting the products uh, made, made correctly, and also made to a certain price point because we can't forget that. Whenever we work on a custom project with you, we're actually going to ask you a lot of questions. We're going to ask you a whole bunch of questions so that we know what it is we have to work with, um, budgets, uh, who the client is, and, and really trying to understand what the need is. Uh, we spoke earlier about um, just the designers and being on trend. Um, this is an, an image of where uh, we are in all of these uh, wonderful cities and the trend that we spotted. And this is a slide that's about a year and a half old, but we spotted was cotton canvas. Cotton canvas started to hit the market in the streets um, like crazy. Everywhere we went, the designers saw cotton canvas. So what you're going to notice in our Gemline catalog, we have introduced more cotton than we have in past years. Um, we are ahead of the, the curve there. Um, we feel really strongly about it. And um, this is just an image that we definitely um, put together just to show you in all of these different cities what, what, what we have found. Um, so when we're working with you on your project, we, we kind of take whatever the item is. In this case, this, this slide shows you a Gemline tote bag, but it could be anything. And we say, all right, well, well, what industry are we focusing on? Is it healthcare? Is it auto? Is it education? Uh, health and fitness? Um, really, where is this bag going to be used? What's the promotion? Who's the who's the person that's going to be you know picking this bag up? And how can we design it to meet their needs? And 
And then what we do is we say, all right, well, let us do some of the research for you. For example, um, if we have to travel to different trade shows and see what's out there, see what's going, this is a great image of showing people at this show and at this booth, and all of them have their backpacks on, <laughs> which is really kind of funny. Um, but you know, we have to do the research to figure out really what is the, the best way that this item is going to be used. And then we go into our options. Um, you know, for this particular project, we wanted to present three options, maybe a couple of backpacks and a messenger bag style. So we've designed them to look um, techie. We've designed them with their color in mind. We've shown custom zipper pulls. We've shown printed linings. Um, and really giving them three options here of a custom item that we think really targets that market. So where is it all done and how is it all done? I mentioned that I'm here in Massachusetts. This is my building and I'm right about there. Um, this is my building here, Gemline Lawrence. Um, we have an office in China. So in Shenzhen, China, we have an office where we have our, our entire facility, and we also have dormitories. So our staff works in our China office, and they also stay in the dormitories. And what we do is we, we call it our mirror operation. Our mirror operation between Lawrence and China is something we feel very strongly about to really make our project successful. We have actually um, bolts of fabric in China. And in the USA, we have all of the swatches that coincide with the bolts. So really, that helps us. So when we're talking about fabrics and we're talking about sampling, we can go to a reference library that tells us what do we have in China, what can we use, what's the closest, what's going to be the, you know, the most similar to the project that I'm trying to make, and really make sure the samples come out as best as possible. So this, this mirror um, is very important to us. Same thing as far as how we're set up. We have a design center in the USA, and we have one in China as well. Um, and they work very closely together. We also do all sorts of Skyping and video conferencing. Our design team also travels to China three to four times a year. Uh, for the most part, almost every month, we have someone from Gemline USA in our China office. And that can be someone from our supply chain team to our compliance team to a designer. Um, we really have a presence there constantly, and we're constantly working to improve any type of communication or design or development. Um, another example of uh, a couple of images of our customer service uh, in China and the sample room that I keep mentioning and keep talking about. This is something that we are proud of. This is actually a, um, a laminated printer. Um, this is a this is, I don't know if it's the first, but it's one of the um, first items that actually we, we actually exported this printer to China <laughs> so that they could offer us printed lamination samples. We do an awful lot of business with laminated tote bags. Um, they just don't seem to be going away. So doing actual proofs on those tote bags can be quite expensive because the printing process for production requires a roller. Um, a roller can cost up to $2,400 to open. Um, that's the printing method, and it's quite expensive. Us having this printer overseas in China allows us to provide printed samples for approvals um, at such a minimal cost. Now, the color is not 100%. The color is around 80%, but it definitely gives the customer um, the ability to see an actual bag printed, and it allows us to make sure all of the imprint and the logos that we have really are shown and can allow us the approvals that we need to get. Um, so really, our message is being you know, different, standing out, uh, differentiating is really important um, to us and to you to really make, to make an impact. Um, the next slide we have is a video, and it's just um, it's kind of a fun video. Don't worry, it's only two minutes long, <laughs> and it's really fun to do. And what I have to do is try to um, download this for you. Um, I mean, should be able to yeah, just go, Sandy, to that that okay. share button. 
this call is already uh, put there for us. And, you know, guys, too, um, one thing is that this really we're saying to be different and stand out from the rest. Imagine if you present it to your customer, one of these ideas we presented today, you know, it, then your competition is looking for this item. They cannot find the item, maybe. Maybe they don't know about source, you know, with us, with Gemline, you know, and they, um, it really sets you apart in having that item in their hands and the, they can't find it from anyone else, you know. So um, that's a great way to really stand out from the rest. You ready for the video? Yeah, I'm ready. Thank you, Paul. Well, thank you. Yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's one of those um, things that's always interesting to me to see how many steps actually go into making a sample, and that gives you sort of a highlight of that. But um, both so on behalf of Cecilia and myself, thank you for listening and joining the Any Meeting. And certainly if you have any questions or if you um, need to get in touch with us, please just let us know. Thank you, Cecilia and Sandy. Uh, do you need the presentation back up to uh, um, show your... Me, yes, please. If you could put that back up just to show the contact information for us. Um, you know... This is just kind of hitting the iceberg. There's so much stuff that we can do for you guys um, that really is um, outstanding. Um, you know, Gemline doesn't just, like I said earlier at the beginning, this is a good third of our business. And, um, you know, it's not just Sandy in the, the department. You know, um, we have a whole department, you know, dedicated to this. You know, quite a few individuals between here in the uh, United States and in China, too. So this is a big part of our business. And, you know, you got to quote the stuff that, you know, show something different to your customer, too. You know, it's um, to really um, to, to see what the, how powerful it can be. And we can do some virtual for you and all that, too. So let me know if you need it. Um, Sandy and I are both here to help you guys. Thank you for your time today. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> thank you, Sandy, and thank you, Cecilia. And thank you, everyone, for attending today. Uh, it's a great point. They've got... Uh, uh, They've got so many capabilities that uh, can really set you apart and really make your clients look good. Uh, this presentation has been recorded or is being recorded and will be posted uh, later this afternoon on the Facebook MIPA page.
I also would like to thank our sponsor, Apothecary Products, LLC. Um, they're a Michigan manufacturing supplier for more than 30 years. They have a diverse line of lanyards, pill boxes, and earplugs, and they've made our Wild Wednesday webinars uh, possible. I'd also like to remind you that you can get uh, CAS credits. If you send me your uh, CAS PIN number, I'll submit that to PPAI so that you get credit for today's presentation. I'd also like to remind all of you that uh, coming up next month for our Wild Wednesday webinar. It will be on April 30th, and it's going to be a great presentation by Joe Scott from Scott & Associates on how to use LinkedIn, really. And Joe is a, an expert user of LinkedIn and can give you a lot of great tips on how to use LinkedIn as a prospecting tool and a modern-day Rolodex uh, card. For those of you in Michigan, we've got a luncheon coming up next week in Lansing on April 2nd. Uh, there's details on the MIPA.org um, website. We also have one in May in Southfield, June in Traverse City, and July in Frankenmuth. All these are great opportunities to connect with our great MIPA member uh, suppliers. Also, thanks to OPA, TISPA, PPA Chicago, PPA Wisconsin, and UMAP for participating in our Wild Wednesday webinars. And thanks again for attending, and we'll see you next month. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you, everyone. Paul. Bye-bye.